More gyms should permanently ban people taking selfies and pictures in general. My gym had this rule in place already but just recently started enforcing it to a serious degree. Made a night day difference of a miracle people no longer spent all day posing in front of workout machines instead of using them. Therefore the machines could get used in a proper span of time so that people could leave at a decent hour and the gym was less crowded. Most of which were women who looked like they trying to grow their social media followings because they posed a lot. Additionally, they were recording other people who were waiting on using the equipment. I'm surprised this isn't popular and enforced more often as this alone has made me switch gyms. What drives me crazy are people who sit on a machine for 20 minutes on their phones. I get you need a minute or two between sets but some people are ridiculous. 5 minutes of lifting and 20 minutes of checking email. It's one thing if the place isn't crowded but have some awareness. We need to have a national conversation about cameras and recording in general. Great it's not illegal to film people in public places I'm not arguing that it should be, it's also not illegal to fart in a crowded elevator but we all recognize it's rude. Especially in the locker room. I was getting dressed and girls were taking pictures in the mirror. I have no idea if I was in the photos or not. Maybe we just normalize photo bombing. My gym literally has a posing picture area elm foul. I'm for this, I'm sick of the broccoli head fucks hogging gym equipment. I've always felt on the fence about it. The influencers are annoying but some people just want to video their form or take progress pics. It's getting to the point where influencers are getting so annoying that I agree with you. Yes ban all influencers everywhere especially on social media. Depends on the situation in my eyes. Taking a selfie with none in the background is fine. Taking a instructional video on proper form is fine. Setting a video up to make a viral video or recording others at the gym should be completely unacceptable. I don't care that other people are taking selfies, but I don't really want to be part of your live stream to a bunch of simps jerking off. I see it on Reddit all the time. When did this become a thing? I guess I haven't had a gym membership in 6-7 years but never once saw it IRL. Unfortunately it's not always contained to gym equipment areas. I've seen guys not care and take pics or even take videos of themselves flexing in gym changing rooms. Like. There are other people around. Many of whom are in the process of getting dressed or undressed. It's inappropriate and creepy. 1000 agree. So vain and annoying. Reddit would legislate based on how annoyed y'all are. Yes and no. It's important to correct your form. Not everyone wants to pay for a trainer. So taking pictures or videos for that should be alright. But for some influencer or thirst trap shit nor. I respect people's right to choose if they want to film and shoot photos, but if you spaz at people for accidentally walking into your frame, or being too close to your photo session etc you're an idiot. Some of us are there to solely tap in, do the work and function in that space without tripods and gimbals and phones left right and center presenting potential obstacles. Most people are reasonable and I've yet to come across anyone personally in a gym that's spazzed at me, but it does happen and people are way too addicted to their devices to be trusted with better social etiquette. Real unpopular opinion get off social media and no one would be posting. I haven't been to a public gym in a few years. It's fucking shocking to me this is a thing. I loathe our society's vanity. Doubt that imposing primary school rules would be a good financial decision for a gym. Also, you fight fire with fire. Whenever I see someone taking more than normal time on a machine I'll go bother them by asking how many they've left, and if they can share it. 99 of times they do share it, or finish their shit faster. I think a designated area for photos and longer phone use may work better. People posing is annoying, but so are people that hog a machine while just sitting there and scrolling through TikTok for 15 minutes. You want to pose and record video? Here is a mirror that looks out onto a nice backdrop. You want to sit on your phone? 
Here is a cushy chair just for that. This isn't an unpopular opinion. It can't be, if I'm not even going to the gym and still see here this vocalized at least once a month. My gym has selfie tripods for the patrons. They have plenty of space for the selfies though so it actually works better. There are a lot more really buff people than my last few gyms and they basically derobe and take the pics. They don't get in my way though so I'm fine with it. Yeah we need it for progress pictures face with tears of joy face with tears of joy we'll go with that. My female friend was getting changed in the ladies changing room recently and another woman and her friend were doing a live stream video. My friend said she was naked at the time and rightly pissed off. She confronted the woman but got brushed off so reported it to management. I feel bad for y'all going to influencer infested gyms but I've literally never encountered anyone filming in an even remotely annoying way. Before cell phones people went to the gym to look at themselves in the mirror and be social butterflies. Not actually work out. Only difference now is they post it online like the world cares. Been doing bodybuilding for over a decade now. I don't think I've ever been annoyed by these people. I still don't understand what the big deal is. What I'm seeing are people recording their sets and taking reasonably timed breaks between sets. But people assume they aren't working out if they see them fidgeting with their phone. Selfies are one thing but the real problem are people setting up fucking tripods to record themselves. I understand that recording yourself could help with form maybe, but most people do it for their 11 followers on social media. Gyms are pretty tightly packed to begin with and they are in the way. Gyms don't typically have rules about taking videos and pictures of yourself because it's free advertisement for the gym. I'd totally be down for banning pictures and videos but I understand from a business perspective why it doesn't happen as much. LOL gyms already have a tough time making money. Good luck convincing them to perma-ban clients. I'm for banning them if they are rude and violate other members' privacy, or use it to attack and mock them, but in general is a stupid hill to die on. A few of the people I watch make content for informational use, fun skits or to show progress rather than tell. I joined a sub for dieting to talk about dieting, but all it is is people posting selfies, taking pictures of their bodies. People these days are narcissists. I refuse to post a picture of myself online anyway. Taking selfies and pictures of yourself is fine and there is zero reason to ban someone for doing this. It's a good thing that people are happy with themselves to do this. Taking photos and videos of others is not okay and should get you banned. I think there should be allocated areas for personal progress documentation educational filming photos. You should try going to a real gym. Scratch gym, add society, at least for the purposes of selfies. People taking constant selfies need to go to a psychiatrist. End of discussion. In changing rooms too. My gym changing room is pretty much surrounded by mirrors. Like bro I just had a shower I don't wanna be in the background of your picture whilst I'm barely covered in a gym towel. Unfortunately, a gym subscription, exactly like a car, a house, fancy food, offspring, etc., is a status symbol. Something you can just post and it speaks for itself. Hence a lot of people will just buy the smallest subscription available, take a thousand photos and post them regularly to make it look like they're gym habitué. It's all fake and staged, like their personality. Love going at 1-3 a.m., I'm naturally awake all night and it's always empty. Maybe a couple others. I'm fine with that when it's almost empty. It's great when people enjoy themselves. But when it's crowded any activity that blocks other people is a shit move. Work out at home if you can't be nice. I support filming the police but going into say the public library or the post office to start shit by filming the 60-year-old clerk is just BS. 1 million agree people had good form and were strong long before we had this obsessive need to take pictures and videos of ourselves. I don't care about taking photos for yourself to see the changes, but people bringing a bunch of fucking studio equipment to film themselves lifting bothers the shit out of me.